guys it's your boy will back with another video today hope you guys are doing good in this video i'll be talking about four penny stocks that can rock it tomorrow i'll be giving you guys key levels on each penny stock so buying levels where i'm looking to buy resistance levels where i'm looking to sell and support levels where i'm looking for price to hold okay basically the exact plays that i'm looking for for tomorrow we always got to make sure we get those confirmations at those buying levels okay now these are penny stocks so make sure you watch your risk management okay Make sure you don't put too much money in there just in case it pulls back or anything. It won't affect your account. Me, I usually never put more than 1% in penny stocks, okay? Now, make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes. Subscribe. Trying to get the 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year as a Christmas present from you guys to me. And then also make sure you check out all the links down below to join the team. Now, the first penny stock I'll be talking about today is iFresh Incorporation, ticker symbol IF. M K ticker symbol I F M K. So with this one, we had a little pop up right here, right? And it's kind of been going up as well. So let me zoom in a little bit. So after it had that first run up, had some pullback, kind of been going up higher, right? Doesn't seem like it wants to come down to these low prices anymore. Kind of sitting at these high prices, which is good. That is showing a little bullishness. And I think they had this pop on a supply agreement with T Mall Global. So they had an agreement that went through. So I think that's why they had this little pop here. So I am looking for that second run that's going to happen. And I'll give you guys two buying levels that I'm looking at. Both, um, well, one would be bearish and one would kind of be bullish. But these are both levels that I'm kind of looking at. So first level that I'll be looking at is right around, I would want to see some deeper pullback. So right around like 90, I would say 90 cents. This is a deeper pullback, right? If it came down here and showed buying pressure, I will go a little heavier than a normal position. As you guys know, normal position is around 10K per play. So if it came around there and I saw a deeper type of uh, confirmation, I will be going heavier, okay? That's the first level. And then the second level is right around like one, I'll probably say 110 to 115, kind of in that area right here. I would say that's the next level I'm kind of looking at. But regardless, I do want a little pullback, okay? It's kind of been going up, but no really pullback in here or here. So I want to see a little pullback kind of in this area and then take off to the moon. If we enter around that dollar ten area, most likely I'll be exiting around, I would say a dollar thirty via exit, about an 18% gain. That's if we enter at that dollar ten area. And then if we enter around that 90 cent area, I'll most likely exit at the old um, buying level around $1.10 for about a 21% gain. Okay, so these are the main three levels I'm looking at right now for this penny stock, ticker symbol IFMK. The second penny stock, also a lot of questions about this one, is Mine Medicine, ticker symbol MNMD. Ticker symbol MNMD. So on this one, like I said, I had a lot of questions about it. So I will be giving you guys some levels that I see. I see one buying level and it's literally where price is now. Okay. And I'm looking to take it up to right around $2.80. I'll drag it out here. That's where I think we might see some resistance at. And that'll probably be my exit. Depending on the percentage, I might exit half here to try to get some more push or I might exit the whole position. Okay. So it just depends on what type of uh, selling pressure we get in here. Make sure you guys use Will 50 Off to get $50 off the Stock Market Options Crash Course. Very, very informative. It'll help you guys how to trade in bullish markets, bearish markets, day trade, swing trade, all a lot of stuff. Okay? Will 50 Off give you $50 off the Stock Market Options Crash Course. Link in description and pin in the comments. So resistance around 280. Buying level. Okay? Buying level is right around like 235 to 240. Okay? So what I'll do is I'll put it at 240. This is the main level and really the only level that I'm looking at. Okay, so we don't get buying pressure here. It's going to be right around there in the open. So probably like the first 30 minutes to an hour. You're going to want to watch that pretty closely because it's going to be doing something within there. Okay, so that's when I'll be looking for that buying pressure. Make sure that confirms. And then if we do enter around that 240 area, looking to exit around 280 about a 17% gain, okay? So it's a nice gain. We just got to make sure we get that buying pressure down there. And again, this was Mind Medicine, ticker symbol MNMD. Third, Penny Stock. Haven't talked about this one. 
is ticker symbol S-O-L-O. -O. Ticker symbol S-O-L-O -O for solo, okay? Now, with this one, it had a little pop right here. and had a little continuation pop, kind of stalled out. Had its earnings, which had it pulled back a little bit, but then went higher, okay? And is it, it is uh, pulling back a little bit. Uh, after hours it only pulled back about seven cents or so nothing too big but i am looking for a nice little play on this one okay so i'll give you guys the exit first i kind of want to take it to around four dollars and thirty uh we'll do 420 so i don't have to zoom so let's put it at 420 420 to 430 is where i'll be looking to exit at but 420 is on that safer side. So we'll go ahead and put four uh, $4.20 20 here. And then for the buying level is right around like 380. So kind of where price is right now. So probably got to watch this one closely in the morning as well to see if we get that buying pressure conf uh, confirmation. And if we do, I'll go ahead and enter there. And if we enter around that $3.80 area up to that $4.20, perfect 10% play. Because I think once it gets to that 430, 420 area, you're going to start seeing some resistance come in the market. So I'll go ahead and be out the position when we get up there because you might see that selling pressure and then we could probably get back in and then see price go higher. So our money can work uh, multiple ways instead of just holding it one way trying to go through there. Okay, so that's the main two of those I'm looking for right now on solo ticker symbol S-O-L-O. -O. Make sure you guys join the Discord chat link in description. Because in there, I send you guys everything I'm buying and selling for options and shares. And we also have a chat room, okay, where I'll be confirming these levels for you guys. And you can also ask me, is the buying level confirming on solo, right? I'll go check it for you guys and I'll tell you yes or no. So it helps you out a lot. Make sure you join that. Make sure you use code OWILAPTC because the code is required. And that's pinned in the comments and also linked in the description. Last penny stock had a lot of comments on this one. So I added it at the end for you guys is Adma Biologics Incorporation, ticker symbol A-D-M-A, -A. ticker symbol A-D-M-A. -A. Now, as you can tell with this one, it's been on a nice little run, right, which kind of makes it a little easier to get a play in. So a couple of levels that I'm kind of looking at, I think it can go above two, but let me... I'll go to the 180, let's go to the one hour chart, kind of get a, okay, there you go. So I'll be trying to look to exit right around like one, 185 in that area. I think it probably can go to two, but I think we might have some resistance around that dollar 85 area that might kind of make it a little slower to kind of get up to those areas. So I'll be trying to take off some profit right around that dollar 80. And then depending on what type of percentage we get right there at the dollar 85, I'll probably exit half or I'll just exit the whole position, okay? So the buying level, I do want pullback. Not too much pullback. It needs to come to around $1.55. So in there, I'll probably start looking to go ahead and look for that confirmation of buying pressure. And then if we get that, I think we'd be good to go to see that $1.85. So a nice 19, close to 20% scalp, okay? So very nice play. We just gotta make sure we get that buying pressure around that $1.55 area, okay? Also, make sure you guys join Will Knowledge Crypto channel. That's my second channel, Will Knowledge Crypto. I'll have a comment in here where you could just click the channel or the um, you can just click it and subscribe and watch the video. Okay. So I appreciate all of on the channel. Always remember, none is recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.